Hello and welcome to part two of the WordPress tutorial. I am Dan with Novice No Longer and in this tutorial I am going to walk you through all of the changes that I immediately make with a fresh install of WordPress. A little bit later I'm going to give you the tour so you know exactly what's going on and what each section is. But first there's just some changes that every single time I install WordPress, I make, and I'm going to walk you through those. So the very first thing you can do is go into settings and then general. And once you're in here, this right here is the site title. So this is whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go NNL tutorials for this. And then your tagline, just another WordPress site. This on your blog usually shows right below the title. You can do this a little tagline or you can leave it completely blank if you want. You're going to want to make sure that your URL and your site address, these should be the, the same. You shouldn't have to change this at all. This should be your email address. Scroll down a little bit more. Make sure all these settings are the way that you like them. You can set your time zone, they have all of these as well as you can pick your city. I am in New York, so I'm just gonna pick New York. And then, yep, I like that date, and sure, I like that time. My week starts on Monday, I like that. So save these changes. All right, the next most important thing you're gonna change immediately, and nobody ever does this, and it's frustrating to me, is your permalinks. This is going to help you immensely with SEO, plus it'll make you not look like such a novice in terms of having a blog. You can see that by default, it's nnltutorials.com slash question mark P equals one, two, three. And this one, two, three is just a, an ID number that WordPress assigns to each post. So it's just kind of like a code, it's number, it looks ugly. Instead, you want to have something readable. I recommend choosing day and name because you can see here that it's going to give the year and then this right here is the month, then this is the day of the month, and then it's going to be your slug or basically like the title of your post. And in other tutorials, I'm going to get into naming your posts. But if you're having a traditional blog, this is the best setup because it shows the date directly in the URL. So it gives the most amount of information in your URL. You'll see one of the other options just says post name. So it's just nnltutorials.com slash sample post, whatever your post is. This is another thing that some people choose to do, although it's not quite as good for blogs. You'll see a little bit later when we create pages that each page that you have is going to be slash and just the name of it. So if you create an about page, it's going to be nnltutorials.com slash about, and that'll be about your website. But posts, since they're different and they're dynamic content, they're not evergreen, so to speak. They're, they're date sensitive. You're going to want to have these dates on it just for your reference, for readers, and for the search engines. So... The next thing we're going to do is mess around with some plugins because this is pretty much all the settings that you're going to want to do uh, initially. The rest of it's kind of customization, uh, customization and kind of your preferences. But so far, in terms of the settings, these are things that you have to change. So go into installed plugins right here. And you can see right now, because we installed it through Mojo Marketplace, this is a plugin that's here. I'm never gonna use this. I'm gonna de deactivate this. Hello Dolly is another thing that always comes with every single WordPress install. It adds right up here, you can see how it says, golly gee fellas. It adds a little line from uh, Dolly Parton up there. I, I kind of think it's kind of weird. So I always disable that. And then you can delete. Yes, delete these files. And then this Mojo Marketplace, delete. Yes, delete these files. So the very first thing we're gonna do is you can see Jetpack by WordPress is in here, but it is not connected. You can also see we get this warning at the very top that says your Jetpack is almost ready. We're not connected. We need to connect to wordpress.com. Now you might be a little confused because we have a WordPress install in here, but WordPress is actually separated into two different sections. There is wordpress.com, which hosts your blog itself. So just like if you get a Tumblr page, you go to yourname.tumblr.com, like it's hosted on Tumblr. 
WordPress.org is the organization that allows the WordPress blog to be hosted on your own servers. So what we did since we went through Bluehost and we paid for hosting, we bought the domain name ourselves, we used a WordPress.org install, which is just kind of the code that they gave to us for free instead of pressing a button and letting them host the code on their servers, which was another option, but it's a little bit limited if you do wordpress.com. However, what you wanna do is have a wordpress.com account. So you go to wordpress.com and register for an account and then link this, which is .org, to your .com and you get a ton, a ton of other features. And one of my favorites is their stats. The stats is worth it alone. So I'm going to connect to WordPress right now. And let's see where it takes me. It'll either ask me, uh, yes. Okay, so I'm already logged into my account. So all I have to do is authorize Jetpack. If you don't actually have a WordPress.com account and you're not signed in yet, then you're going to want to make that account and then create it and set it up. But keep in mind, this is going to be completely separate from the username and password that you log into your blog with because your blog is .org, this is .com. So keep completely different credentials and save them in two different places. So what I'm going to do is authorize Jetpack. Doo -doo -doo. Takes a couple of seconds there to get everything connected. And I'll show you in a second. This is going to add a bunch of different things. It adds a setting up in the top left here. And these are all of the different things that uh, Jetpack allows us to do, including posting by email, image carousel, likes. And you can see the ones that are dimmed, these are not activated yet. The other ones you can kind of configure. You don't really need to worry about doing this now. Uh, I get, I, Highly recommend when you have time to go through, look through this and figure out what you want to use. But the fact that we're simply connected is the best thing for me. All right, and I'll show you too. If you go to the dashboard, this is my favorite. Now you're gonna have this little window, which is site stats. I'm gonna move this to the top right. I always like seeing this as soon as I log in. Once your website is live and been uh, you've been using it for a while, you're gonna have the stats showing your daily uh, user numbers, how many people are visiting, what your uh, top posts are. And you're also going to be able to nail down if you go to Jetpack and site stats into the details. Since this is a brand new blog and it's had zero visitors, that's why this is completely empty. But this is so handy once you get into things. Okay, so we're going to go back into plugins. And you can see this other thing that is the a kismet or a kismet. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that, but basically this is spam protection. So this is fantastic. If you enable this, you never have to worry about spam on your blog. So we're going to click activate. Uh, let's see, connected via Jetpack. See, I'm already connected via Jetpack to my WordPress.com account. And I believe that every single WordPress.com account gets uh, an a kismet API key, which is what you need to connect to them. So because you're already connected via Jetpack, you can just click this and it will set you up completely. Awesome. See, yeah, you can see my API key here, which I'm probably going to blur that out and always put spam in the spam folder for review. So there is a spam folder, but I, I've never had this catch a comment that wasn't spam and mark it as spam. This is absolutely fantastic. So I highly recommend using this. All right, let's go back into plugins. So installed plugins. There are a couple of plugins that I use for every single website. And so I'm going to walk you through installing those next. And the very first one is one that I'm going to set up separate loads. There we go. You can see in plugins, there's a button right here that says add new. You can also just hover over this and click add new from here. It's both the exact same thing. I'm going to go here under construction. This is one, if I'm ever creating a new blog, I always install this. Do you want to install it? Yes. Great. So now it's installed. All we have to do is activate it and under construction is in there. You can see for under construction, there's a settings button right here. Not all plugins are gonna have that, 
for some reason, there's no set place where all of these plugin settings go. You can see under settings, we have under construction here now. So this is where under construction goes. Sometimes it adds a completely new thing, just like users and tools. There'll be an entire menu for whatever plugin you installed. Sometimes it's going to be just in settings. It really depends on the plugin and there's no strict rule for that. So sometimes you, sometimes you have to hunt and it's kind of a pain, but I'm going to go into these settings here. And I want to make it so that while I'm kind of messing around with the look and feel of my website, nobody can see what I'm doing. This allows me to kind of test things and do things as I'm doing it. Okay, so display the default under construction page, but use custom text. This is the one that I like. So page title, NNL tutorials, or whatever. You can say coming soon. Header text, coming soon. Just you wait. It'll be great. Whatever you want to say there. Also, on, save those changes. And you can see that if we go and we visit our site right here, because we're logged in, we see the blog just as usual. But if I open up an incognito tab and do nnltutorials.com, Anybody that's not logged in will see this generic coming soon page. So I really like this because you can mess around with the look and feel of your website without worrying about anybody looking at what you're doing. So I use this all the time. And you're going to want to not touch any of these other settings, really. All right, let's go into plugins and add the next one. And the next one I'm going to do is all in one SEO, search engine optimization. There's a few different SEO plugins people like one or the other. I've always used all-in-one SEO, so that's what I'm going to stick with. There's some others that do even more features for it, but I I don't know. I haven't really messed around. I, I tried to play around with them a little bit, but I ended up coming back to all-in-one SEO. Awesome. So you can see the other one installed in settings. This one installs right here. So that's a good example of how they just happen anywhere. So you can dismiss this. Next thing we're going to do is go into general settings. Dismiss this. Great. So what this allows us to do is control how search engines view us and list us. So your homepage title, if you wanted to get even more detail into this, reels information for people who want to build things or whatever you want to say there you can kind of fill this with keywords but don't make it too keyword dense make sure you're actually like it's actually like a sentence. Um, your home description, make this hover over here. Uh, this is going to be the meta description. So if you've ever done a search for a blog and it kind of says the name and then a little description under it, that's what that's going to be. And then your home keywords. Meta keywords aren't really used too much by search engines anymore, but it can't help. It can't hurt to have them there. So fill that out. The rest of this these settings are all pretty good. You don't need to touch it. What it's going to do is you can see for page title format, what it's going to do is make it so that it's your page title and then your blog title. And this is fantastic because it's inserting your blog name into every single title right up here, what you see in the tab. And that's really good for SEO and search engine ranking because it really makes your blog uh, prominent. So really, you don't have to check with any of these other things. If you're doing Webmaster Tools or Bing or Pinterest, that's where you'd enter this in. Your Google Plus profile, which you're definitely going to want to set up later, but we're not doing that now, and Google Analytics. So this is where you do everything. So then update options. Fantastic. Okay, one more plugin. Actually, a couple more plugins. Okay, Google XML site maps. What this does is it creates a site map, which is a specific web page on your website that is your site slash sitemaps dot whatever XML, I believe. And that is readable by search engines and it links to every single page on your website. And also it tells the search engines, the structure of your website, which helps them when returning search results. So it's a nice formatting that everybody needs. And every time you update your website, it, it's going to send that sitemap update to Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Ask. So this is fantastic to have. You turn it on and then you never have to think about it again.
All right, so we're going to add new. We're going to do WordPress editorial calendar. And I'm going to show you exactly what this does. This is so, so handy. So this one that says uh, editorial calendar right here, this is what we're going to install. And especially if you're dealing with a lot of content and scheduling in advance, this is a must have for you. So let's activate that. And we'll see that it's now activated WordPress editorial calendar. And in posts, you'll see right now, usually you don't have this calendar link here. You can just see all your posts or add new. But now we're going to go into calendar. And you can see exactly each of the days of the month and add a new post on specific days. You can click and drag posts from one place to another before they are published and move them to different dates to publish them on different dates. It's literally a click and drag calendar for planning your content. This is fantastic and I use this all of the time. So next, the very last one is optional. WordPress super cache. And the reason why I say that this is optional because you're probably not going to need this for a while. What cache does is it allows your blog to get a ton of con uh, traffic without crashing, without sp uh, spending a lot of money on kind of hosting or anything. Because what it does is it it's hard to explain, but it basically stores your content somewhere that's not in the database on the server instead. And so basically all you need to know is that your website isn't going to crash if you get a huge, huge spike in traffic. And in, by spike in traffic, I mean, if you're getting 20,000 visits in a single day, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. And if you don't have this installed, that might bring you down. So let's just install that just in case, because hopefully we will have that much traffic soon. Activate that plugin. Great. So you can see immediately it's disabled. We're going to go to the plugin admin page. Hmm. Ah, we never actually changed this. So we're going to go there and then save these changes. I never saved those changes. You should do that. Save your changes. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go back into plugins. Go to the admin page. Let's turn caching on. Let's update status. You really don't need to change anything in there. If you want to read more about it and really get into it, you can, but there's also a chance that you'd mess things up. So just turning that on, you're, you're pretty much all good. And that's a walkthrough of all of the things that I do with a fresh install of WordPress. I'm going to get into a little bit more of the details about how things exactly work in the next few tutorials.